Coming up, I show you how I created three WordPress plugins in 10 minutes. I show you how you can create your own WordPress plugins, and I show you a look to the future of what this means for WordPress. So I would really like a plugin that makes it snow on every single page of my website. So I'm heading over to JackGBT, and I'm saying write code for a WordPress plugin that makes it snow on every page of the website. And look at this, look at what it's coming back with. It's actually writing the code for me directly within ChatGPT. And it's looking good so far. So let's just wait for this to finish. And then I'm gonna create a plugin and add it to my site and see if it flies. So now it's gonna create the JS file for me, which I need for the actual snow function. And then after that, I suspect it's gonna try and create a CSS file. Now let's add that plugin to this site and see what happens. So plugins, add new. I'm gonna find my brand new snow plugin that I've just created. There it is, and upload it. Cross your fingers, activate it. Let's go look at the website. It's snowing. Right, I would like a nice simple maintenance plugin now that will hide my website to anyone that's not logged in. So when I'm building it, I can hide it. You may have noticed that certain maintenance plugins have become somewhat bloated, so I want a really simple one. Let's go and see if we can create one in ChatGPT. Right, write code for a maintenance plugin in WordPress. Off we go. Let's see what we get back. Cross fingers. Here's the basic code for a WordPress maintenance plugin. Kind of doing it. And it even explains underneath how the code is actually working. It's mind-boggling. Let's add the plugin to this website and see if it flies. So add new, upload plugin, choose my new plugin, which is called maintenance mode. Let's install it, let's activate it. And then I'm just gonna log out and go and visit the website now and see. Boom, maintenance mode is working as well. Right, let's try one more just for fun. I would like a plugin that tells my users that they're installing too many plugins if they get over a certain number. So let's go to chat GPT and give it the prompt. Okay, so let's say write code for a WordPress plugin that displays a message in the dashboard. When over two plugins, I mean, you can change that number, that's very strict, have been installed on the website, the message should read, steady on, too many plugins can slow down your website. Let's hit return and see whether we can actually create a plugin that does that. Looks like it's gonna work. Here's an example of a simple WordPress plugin that displays a message in the dashboard when more than two plugins have been installed on the website. Can't wait to try this one out. I'm gonna install this on all my clients' websites tomorrow. No, I'm not. Uh, right, here we go. Just wait for this to finish. I've activated a few plugins on this site and I'm gonna add my brand new plugin and see if it gives us a warning that I'm using too many plugins. There it is, let's add it and activate it and hopefully there we go right at the top there it's gone steady on too many plugins can slow down your website i mean you could you could write a specific message just if one particular plugin was installed i guess but anyway don't do that if you're not a developer and you want to know how you go from gpt code to actually the plugin this is how you do it so you just click copy code up here and that will copy that code. Then if you're on a Windows machine, probably Notepad. If you're on a Mac, then you can use text edit, which is just a basic Notepad type thing that you can create plain text in. If you are using text edit, then you also wanna go into settings here and open and save and click this where it says add text extension to plain text files. I mean, don't click it, um, make sure it's not clicked. And so you wanna create a, basically a new file here copy your code in here. So copy your code into either Notepad or Text Edit. Then you wanna save that file probably to your desktop. So I'm just gonna move it to my desktop here in my Mac. And there we go, I'm gonna move it there. Then you wanna come over here and you just need to rename it. And you re need to rename it, the name of your plugin, minus too many plugins, .php. Make sure you do the .php. And as long as you've ticked that setting that I showed you before, at this point it will say, do you want to use TXT or PHP? We want to do PHP. And then all you have to do is right click on it and come down here to compress, compress it, and that will create a zip. We can delete that PHP file because it's now in the zip. And that's our plugin.
Now we are right at the start of this revolution. It's going to be a revolution because once non-technical users can create their own plugins, expect a huge growth of these little micro plugins. Because once you reduce the friction to do something and make it much easier for people to do that thing, then you generally get much more of that thing happening. Think of TikTok and how we now have millions and millions of people producing videos every day. Imagine in a year's time, we may well have an AI plugin generator that actually creates the zip file for you, that adheres to WordPress coding standards, that does a full code review for you, that even creates the documentation and help files for you. And then wind forward a little bit further, and why not have an AI plugin marketplace where users can create their own plugins and upload them and maybe sell premium versions of them. Maybe that marketplace has the code plugin generator built right into the core of it so it can help non-technical users to create these plugins of the future. One thing is for sure is that WordPress is really well placed to take advantage of this with its open plugin architecture, especially compared to other closed proprietary systems like Wix and Squarespace. So how crazy was that? That was loads of fun. I hope you enjoyed that and got some value out of it. If you did, if you can hit that like button below, it'd be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the video and the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified every time I release a new one or watch one of these two videos. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.